about to yeah we finna kick this aluminum up about this truck man and go on about our business because i'm about ready to get this day over with for real i have had a niff okay
All right, let's go get paid. It's about 200, probably a little over 200. Get between 70, 80 dollars for that. How you doing? Good, yourself? I'm tired and it's hot. Yes, it is. I gotta go do a junk removal and I'm done for the day. Good. You gonna be able to get to the landfill in time? Probably not. I'm probably stuck till, uh, I'm probably stuck until next week, man. On the fifth? Day after a holiday? I doubt it. What are we gonna do? Because I don't know. I think they just shut down for the holiday. Yeah. Well, I'll bet they are. I mean, those garbage trucks, they get filled up, they run to the dump, they continue the road, and then they run to the dump again. So I bet you that's Friday and Thursday. Oh, well, I hope so, because I'm definitely not trying to be stuck with all that mess in my truck, man. Alrighty. Have a good holiday. You too. Don't like too many. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already tired. Oh, look like we got a little bit of action up over here, man. Uh, let's see here, YouTube, YouTube. -y. You know what we about to tell this stuff to do? Get in my truck. Now we thinking, do we wanna? Yeah, we gonna take all that glass over there too, man. We gonna throw that in the truck too. been trying not to take on all this glass man because it just be everywhere in my truck it be spilling out when I'm driving so I be trying not to but it is what it is Top say drop, you better drop them, get 150. this uh, I don't think I want that we're gonna toss this in here uh, 
I am gonna take these and contemplate if I'm gonna take these. Probably should. There's two of them. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take these, you two. Toss them in the truck too. Or should I come back later and get them? Uh, oh, these babies heavy. Yeah, we go to the landfill every week, man. We ain't tripping about that little glass. We at the landfill every week. Okay. You know, having properties like that is good for business, man. But me personally, I wouldn't want to live in no cookie cutter house, man. When, when I look down the street, down the road or whatever, all the houses look just like mine. I just wouldn't want to live like that, man. Anybody can walk in your house and they know where everything at because all the houses are the exact same. I just wouldn't want to live like that, man. From a business standpoint, if you own those properties, it's a beautiful thing. But me, I'll pass. I don't want to live in no apartments anyway. I hate living in apartments, man. Once I had an apartment, my daughter was just born. And uh, my bedroom wall was the same uh, bedroom wall as my neighbor. And um, whenever I would have women over, my neighbor would hear me with the females, man. And every day that turkey would come outside and be like, yeah, I heard you had some fun over there last night, man. You had some fun. And I'd be like, God damn, dude. I used to hate that, man. And then the neighbor on the other side of me, she'd be like, this was an older lady too. She was a nice old lady too, man. I ain't gonna even, she passed away some years ago. But uh, she'd be like, hey, you had two over there. You had two over there last night. And I'd be like, huh? This lady sitting out at her window. <laughs> she at the window watching the females come over and I'd be like, dang, can't have no privacy, man. That's what I don't like about apartments, there ain't no privacy, man. I don't care if I had four women come over. I don't want to hear about it from my neighbors. I don't want my neighbors reminding me, bringing it up. Got a different one over there every night, it seemed like. I'd be like, lady, listen. <laughs> I'm young and I'm single. And I ain't never had no problems with women. I'm gonna do what I do. But then of course, not too long after that, my daughter was born and I ended up having to get custody of her cause her mom was who knows what. And so, I had to make a lot of uh I had to make a lot of sacrifices and a lot of changes to raise my daughter, man. And so all of that being with different women all the time and you know all of that stuff kind of had to I kind of had to phase all that out, you know. Females was calling me to come over and you know so on and so forth. And I couldn't do it cuz I had my daughter and Eventually, them phone calls stopped coming. And then I had my other son, my 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 oldest kid, 
he was sleeping on my couch. And then I had my, my newborn. I had my newborn in the, in, the, in the crib, in the room with me. So, yeah, I just couldn't, um, I had to make some changes to my life, man. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't do what I was used to doing, how I, how I, you know, I couldn't live how I like to live and all of that type of stuff. I had to make some changes, man, so. Then, uh, my daughter got a little older and uh, she was about two, three years old. And so she was getting attached to these women, man. And I knew these girls wasn't finna be around all like that. You know, I knew they was, you know, temporary. And uh, my daughter was getting attached to them, man. And so I had to, I had to tell myself I can't have a, uh, I can't have women around my daughter unless um, unless I was in a relationship with these women, man, because I wasn't even thinking about no relationship. I was having fun. And uh, I had to stop, I had to stop doing a whole lot of stuff, man. I had to stop. Ugh. But you know, I, I've been in, um, it's crazy, man. Because when I look at my family, there wasn't a lot of kids born in my family, man. My cousins, my first cousins, man, they didn't have a lot of kids. Wasn't a lot of kids born in this family. And then, um, a lot of my female cousins and even my sister, they never had kids. So then I think, I sit back and I think like, damn, I should have had more kids. And um, I would have had more kids if it wasn't for abortions. A lot of women got a whole lot of abortions on me, man. And, um, And because of the because of these women's getting abortions, you know, I would have more kids than I have right now. I'd have a, a lot more. But uh Oh, that ain't nothing. I would have a lot more kids than I got right now. You know. I had a girl, she was a twin and she was pregnant with twins and got an abortion on me. <laughs> I said, God damn, what is going on here? <laughs> but anywho, I ain't about to dwell on that. It is what it is. But her, um, I might end up having one or two more because uh, only one of my kids got my last name. And uh, that's my daughter. She's the only one with my last name. And um, you know, if she gets married, if she gets married, oh, that's a grill. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, YouTube, hold on. We about missed that bad boy. Uh, my daughter gets married then my last name is gone you know oh yeah i'm coming for you baby you about to get in this truck yeah you i gotta go get some gas y'all almost missed it i almost ran right by it <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry, I'm gonna take that off your hands. Good. You ain't gonna have you ain't gonna never see this thing again. <laughs> That's good. I can use these plates. Uh, I'll take these. 
People be wanting these plates, man. Oh, I got it. I got it. You got it? Yep, yep. This ain't heavy. Got to use physics against them. <laughs> Thank you, sir. No problem. Yep. I need to talk to you a second. All right, hold on. What's going on? Couple. Uh, it was. It was like the day before. The day before uh, the Fourth of July on that street way on North Bayview Lane. Uh-huh. There was a weed eater and a blower that uh, got picked up. It was a, uh, a steel blower and a straight pulled weed eater that got picked up out of, off the boulevard. Uh-huh. Remember that? Not necessarily. Was it, it wasn't trash? It wasn't trash. Oh. There's witnesses that uh, was sitting across the street in the ring camera. Uh huh. That was that belonged to me, and I was mowing grass while you did that. Oh, I didn't know. If it's uh, if it's on the curb, it's considered fair game. It, it's not considered fair game. It, it's not. It's uh. I was right on the side of the house when you drove by, and something told me I better look. Uh -huh. I was fresh. That thing, that stuff was still hot, and it's in perfect condition. That stuff is brand new. Oh well, I apologize. I definitely wasn't trying to steal nothing. You oh, know, I, I don't. I don't blame you for stealing it. I wasn't. But, no, I, you know, I didn't. Is there any way I can get it back? Uh, you said this happened before the Fourth of July. This was on the third of July. Yeah, it's it's gone, man. Um, what I can do is I come across that stuff all the time. If you give me a card, I come across some more stuff that work. I get it to you. Got a pen by chance? Yeah. Oh, you didn't have to do that. I know, but I did it anyway. All right, thank you. Well, this is my card. So you can put your. All right. No, nah, give me yours, though. I'm just handing you mine. Number on the backs to me and then the business line. What's your name? Tom. Tom? Yep. That's four hundred dollars worth of shit. Yeah, I took, like, took my livelihood away for the day. Well, I apologize. Like I said, um normally stuff is on the curb is fair game, so I figured it was trash, man. Uh it, uh, you you sure it was me that took it? According to the people that witnessed it. They saw that truck right there. They saw that truck. You got a trailer too, don't you? Yeah. You had somebody with you that day. On the before the first? The uh it was on the third day before the fourth of July. All I seen Can I see the video? The lady that has the ring? Yeah, I wanna see it. Yeah, Cause it's not it's not that's not ringing a bell to me anyway. Me having somebody in the truck with me, that's not ringing a bell. Well, 
that was according to me because I, you were heading the same direction you're facing now going towards the park and you stopped and that stuff was sitting there and I was mowing on the side of the house and the neighbor across the street and the Buckeye tree service was up in a tree looking right down on you when you stopped, grabbed it, threw it in there and took off. So there were more than one. There was Buckeye tree, there was... I ain't, I'm not, you know, I'm not denying it or whatnot. I'm saying that I don't, that doesn't, I come through here every day. So um, yeah. it's the, that was two weeks ago. You know what I mean? That was on the 3rd of July, yeah. So I don't, you know. I just haven't seen you. I've been looking. Yeah, I come through here every day. So it just, uh, I don't know what to say about that. Well, I definitely didn't try to steal it on well, purpose. I didn't, I don't, I, I know it was an honest mistake, but like I say, when you see stuff like that that looks that valuable and there's people around, I, I would assume you'd at least ask if it's for free. It didn't have a sign on it saying it was for free, you know. It, you guys are just running on an assumption and that assumption in my opinion you know was the wrong one you know when you're picking up stuff off the curb like that that's set up in a situation when I was mowing freaking grass and that was laying on the sidewalk actually not even on the grass well I I don't know what to say man that's I mean right, dude. I just like I say I, I just wanted to let you know what happened yeah, I mean, it's just like that 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 grill that was right there, man. I mean, stuff is on the curb, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. So, but yeah. like I said, I come across some stuff, man. What you said it was a blower and what else? A steel blower and a and a straight pulled weed eater. I got a weed eater you can have, man. Yeah, there's certain types though. Anybody, I mean, weed eater. It's a gas powered one. Yeah, they ain't all the same. No. They're not. There's certain ones I use that. Well, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send you a picture of it. And if you want it, you can have it. If you don't, it is all what right. it is. The two four eight six number is the one you'll need to send a picture to. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I got you right here. Okay. All right. Well, YouTube, uh, I don't know how to, uh, I don't know how to respond to that, man. Uh, I don't know how to respond to that. He said I had somebody in the car with me and uh, I ain't start having nobody in the car with me until this last week. He's saying this happened before. I would like to see the ring footage, man. I would like to see the ring footage. You know, if you leave stuff on the curb, it's fair game, man. Um, I, I don't know what else to say about that. And uh, and I definitely didn't recall seeing anybody around. I don't even recall picking it up. I'm gonna look at my camera, I'm gonna look at my videos. I'm definitely finna go look at the videos and see He's saying this happened on the 3rd, July 3rd. I don't even, I don't even remember, man. But, uh, I don't even remember that. But I'm definitely gonna look at this camera footage. It's one of those situations where, you know, you can't really, um, I don't know. I definitely didn't try to steal nothing. So I didn't even like him using the terminology of stealing. I ain't steal shit. To claim I stole something, man, that would mean that I was purposely trying to take your property. And that definitely wasn't the case. But anyway, um, I'm gonna look at my, my uh, I'm going to look at my GoPro footage and see if that even happened, man. 
That's what I'm gonna do. I wanna see the footage though. He's saying they had ring footage. I wanna see it. And he talking about something that happened two weeks ago. I don't think, I don't think I'm the one who took it, man. I'm gonna find out though. I'm definitely gonna, uh, when I get back to the house, I'm gonna look at my footage, man. Pull up these videos and look at the videos and see. That might, um, the, the third, huh? Metal YouTube. No, nah, that's wood, man. That is complete and utter wood. Ugh. We don't need it. person that's been with me while I was scrapping is my cousin I don't think he was with me on the day before but I'm about to ask him well you ain't looking like a man that's saying he ready all right Hey, it ain't morning time no more. Oh, I guess it is. I said, hey, little mama, you acting nice to me today? <laughs> oh, I don't feel like going to do it. But I gotta go. Uh, I got a lawnmower. A lawnmower? Yeah. You know that this how you got that grown ass son in there and your grass ain't cut? Cause he ain't got no lawnmower. And now Auntie Velma got a lawnmower down there? No, she, the same people that cut our grass, cut her grass. Yeah, same people that cut her grass, cut theirs too. Well, they slacking on they macking. Right, so guess what? I'm gonna find one. I'm gonna buy one. Let me go get some stuff. Look, he played for Firewell. Take him out. Yeah, he working. He got I, over here. I, I respect his cap. I respect it. I respect the game. I respect it. All right, man. Was you with me on the, um... Was you with me on the third? The day before uh, the, the fourth? fourth? 
Yeah. You was? Yeah. Um, no, nah, I'm no, nah, I'm trying to remember something. No, nah, cause uh, I rode through this neighborhood. I rode through this neighborhood today, and the guy accused me of stealing his um his weed whacker and blower. I don't remember picking up one, but I mean, nah, I mean he he uh. I don't know. The whole situation was kind of weird. He he he. Uh, he pulled up on you. Yeah, cause uh, this this uh, I was riding and I seen a um, I seen a grill. I saw this grill, so I I back up and um, it was an old man outside. So the old man, you know, he was like, "Yeah, take it, please." And so the old man gave me ten dollars for uh taking the grill. I was like, "Man, you ain't gotta give me that." He's like, "I know, but I want to." I said, "All right." So. While I'm throwing that grill in the truck, this this other guy pull up. He could tell he was a landscaper or something. He pulls up across the street and was like, hey, can you come here? And I was like, yeah. So I'm thinking they might've had some scrap for me or something. So I go over there, I walk over there and he was like, uh, uh, such and such and such, this street back here over this street. And so I'm, you know, I ain't really, I ain't really recognizing what the hell he's saying. I don't really know what he's talking about. And so then he said, yeah, I had a, um, what? So he had a, uh, so he's like, um, yeah, I had a, a, a weed whacker and, and a blower and you took it. And he's like, there was, we got you on ring, on ring uh, camera, and, and so and so saw this, and this person saw that, and uh, he said I, it was. They were still, they were still hot for me using them, and blah blah blah. And I'm like, whoa, bro. Nah, but I'm like, wait a minute. I said, man, listen, I don't know, you know what I'm saying. I said, you sure that was me? You know what I'm saying? He was like, yeah, it was you. And I said, I want to see the ring footage. Like, I want to see that. Cause I was like, I don't, you know, this was two, this was damn near two weeks ago, man. Like I don't, first of all, I don't remember it. Cause he going to ask me if he could get the stuff back. And I was like, man, listen, if I did take that stuff, it's been gone. You know what I'm saying? It's been gone. If I took it, if it, if it was thrown in this truck, it's been gone. There ain't no, you know, I offered to get a dude my weed whacker. You know what I'm saying? He was like, oh, they're not the same. And you know, you, you took my livelihood for the day. And I'm like, well, I apologize for all that. I definitely, uh, I definitely wasn't trying to steal nothing. You know what I'm saying? He was like, well, I don't blame you for stealing it. I said, I didn't steal nothing. You know what I'm saying? I said, if stuff is on the curb, it's fair game. And he said, no, that's not actually, I, I'm like, yeah, that is how it works. It's fair game if it's on if it's on the curb. It's fair game, you know what I'm saying? I'm not finna like I just sit up here and, and had conversations with you about what you can and can't take. So I'm not gonna violate them rules. Right. You know what I'm saying? If it wasn't on the curb, I wouldn't have took it. So, all right, man. I don't know. That kind of rubbed me the I'll wrong way. I, I got with you after the fourth. Yeah, cause he said I had somebody in the car with me, and I'm like, I don't even remember that. Cause, yeah, I'm gonna look at my, uh, I'm gonna look at my GoPro. I'm hoping that if if I did take it, cause before I give him my weed whacker, I need to make sure that I'm the one who actually took that. Showing you the ring camera. Because he said it was the uh, the ladies' ring camera footage or something. I want to see the footage though. You know what I mean? That's crazy, man. I want to see the footage. I'm gonna send him. I want to see the footage. Cause he said, this is why I think he's lying though. Because he asked me, do you got a, a trailer? I'm like, yeah, I got a trailer. But if you see me on that ring camera footage, you would know that I had a trailer. You know what I'm saying? Cause if, if, if you really had, cause then he gonna say that um, the cable people, it was some cable people and they was um, some cable. Some cable people was there and they was on one of the poles and he's like, they saw me and the people across the street saw me and something else he was saying. It's like, 
Oh no, that kind of. Oh no. That's wild. I ain't no thief. Yeah, I ain't no thief, man. You know, and I told the dude, I was like, man, just how that guy had that grill out here on the curb. He stayed in that neighborhood. Where you was at? I don't know. I don't know. He gave me his. I got his card with his name on it. I told him. Uh, I said I come across. I come across this stuff all the time. I said if I if I find something that work, man, I'll get it to you. And uh, and he didn't seem happy with that. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't, I didn't get the feeling that he wanted to press charges on me. But he he you know you could tell he was pissed. But I'm like shit. White dude. Yeah, yup. Yeah. And um, I just need to make sure that was me because I don't remember it. That's crazy. When was this? When did he say something to you? Just now. Just now? Yeah. I was just leaving from, from that. I picked up a grill back there. And um, man, I didn't even go to my other spot. I need to go over there. Uh, Yeah, I'm about to go slide that way now. That's crazy. And so I'm thinking like, man, because he said I had somebody in the car. I said, well, the only person been in the car with me is you. And I don't remember, I don't remember. Um, I wasn't around yet then. Yeah, I don't, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm thinking, I don't think that was me, man. I don't think it was me. I said, I think you posted it. You got a video of what you did on the third. Do I? Yeah. No, nah, that ain't, no, nah, oh, them yeah, videos. Yeah, them videos. I'm going to have to look on my computer because, uh, when my, the last time my SD card filled up, I just put all them videos on my computer. So I'm gonna have to go, uh, I'm gonna have to go home and look on that computer and see. It might be on the videos right now, man, but. I forgot to utilize that GoPro all the time. Damn, I need to. I know, huh, see him? Yeah, he probably getting rid of it too. I'm about to double back. Can you break that down? Yeah. That thing got a lot of copper in it. Man, I'm about to double down on him. But uh Yeah man, I that's why I be Man, I'ma tell you right now, it's a lot of times where I didn't um The two rue HS and that's how can I help you? Yeah, I do, but I'd have to charge you. Um, how many you got? Um, the landfill is gonna charge me ten dollars a piece for those. So um where which way which way was that, cuz? Oh, it was that way. Uh, we looking at like, uh, we looking at like 70. Yeah, the landfill, yeah, the landfill is gonna charge me $20 and they're gonna charge me $10 just to get into the gate. And then on top of that, I gotta get gas to go out there, man. So, you know. We already, that's that's already about $50, $60 right there. Just on, you know what I mean? So. Uh, nah, nah, that couldn't, nah, cause that's what it's, it's going, like I said, the landfill is going to charge me $20 just for the mattresses, just to come in the gate with the mattresses. And they're going to charge me ten dollars just to come in there so that's thirty dollars right there and that ain't even including my gas or my labor so i could never just you know what i mean all right all right no problem yep hey ashley my man what you doing with that right there you getting rid of that you getting rid of that okay You got to ask. Got to. That's great. You like that GoPro, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm definitely finna. Uh, I am definitely about to go look on my footage 
and see if um, hopefully I have my GoPro on when it happened. Hey, you see they try to kill uh, Trump? Yeah. yeah, I saw that. Knowing Trump, he might have staged that though. Yeah, that's where I was thinking that shit, man. Like, man, that's that's gonna win him over so much shit. Yeah, that's knowing him, he about stays that man. Yeah, God, if he win that, <laughs> <laughs> he made it out of that. Man, come on, man. Well, no, nah, I can't say he stays it because they killed the guy who they killed the guy who shot him. So yeah, I mean. I can't say he staged it, but I mean, suicidal people out here everywhere. It is, but the, I don't know unless you. I don't know, man. I don't care how much money you finna offer my family. I ain't yeah. about to just let you clunk me out. He was twenty years old. Yeah, I ain't finna let you take me out the game, man. <laughs> He's the young dummy, man. Nah. Yeah, so I can't say he. Uh, they saying how you get on the how you get on the roof though. All them soldiers around though. <laughs> I don't know. How you good? Uh, is that aluminum? Not all of it. That piece right there is. But. Got a hammer? You ain't gonna need one for real. Should be able to pull it loose. Yeah, that's all I see in here though. I guess it is a couple screens. I ain't about to break my neck over that little stuff though. Right up in that glass too. Yeah, I ain't about to. I feel like you just press out to pop that. Bop, bop. Yeah, I ain't tripping, man. They can stay there. I really want to go check this footage out. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that, man. Yeah, I was not expecting that. Pull it tight. Nah, they be too, man. They be to put a report in without even you even knowing. Yeah, that's. Well, I had that whole conversation on the GoPro, so. Yep, yep. yep. You know. So it is what it is, but be to the bottom of it. Yeah. Be wrong. Post that too. I'm posting the video regardless. The video going on my YouTube. And the title is gonna be I got accused of stealing. Yep. Bet you that give me some views. <laughs> See they be watching too. But it's a lot of scrap dudes around the town too though and I know they uh paying attention is awesome. Yeah, probably. Probably. For sure. They in the way though. On every day, huh? That's what I ain't sleep too. These so-called scrappers there. It's like this little neighborhood over there. I see like two, three trucks. Yeah, these dudes be in the way. Like they doing siding or something like that and they snatching it. You know, truck full of side. It's not a game.